fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Donkey of the day for Thursday, September 22nd goes the boxing promoter, one of the OG scammers of the business, Don King. Now, yesterday I gave Donkey of the day to David Simon, creator of The Wire, who was slandered on Twitter Monday for violating one of the laws in the Caucasian handbook. For all those who have a Caucasian handbook, please turn to chapter 1, verse 32. It clearly states that white people can't use the N-word under any circumstances in these troubling times, unless, of course, they are racist white supremacists who are using the word as an insult, not as a term of endearment. David used it in the context of referring to Sean Hannity as my N-word. He said in a tweet, Hannity, my N-word, if they couldn't get Ta-Nehisi or D-Ray to host and who but you on the Post of America referring to that stand-up comedy special they called a town hall last night where Donald Trump addressed issues affecting the African-American community moderated by Sean Hannity. By the way, one of the jewels that came out of that town hall was Donald Trump proposing reinstating stop and fricks of frisk across the country to make black communities safer. Even though a federal judge ruled the practice was being used unconstitutionally in New York and resulted in racial profiling, Donald Trump thinks this is exactly what the black community needs. More violations of our constitutional rights. But this donkey isn't about Donald Trump. It's about Donald King. Mm. Because the same way David Simon violated chapter 1, verse 32 in the Caucasian handbook yesterday, Donald King violated chapter 1, verse 32 in the Negro handbook yesterday, okay? Don King was speaking during a campaign event at a church in Cleveland. Behind him was Donald Trump and a few other white Republicans. And Don King said this before introducing Donald Trump. We need Donald Trump, especially black people. Because you got to understand, my black brothers and sisters, they told me, you got to try to emulate and imitate the white man, and then you can be successful. So we tried that. So you say, if you can get some money, you can do this here. I told Michael Jackson, I said, if you're poor, you are a poor Negro. I will use the N-word. But if you if you rich, you are a rich Negro. If you are intelligent, intellectual, you are intellectual Negro. If you are dancing and sliding and gliding, nigga, I mean mm. Negro, mm -mm -mm. Oh my you gosh. are dancing and sliding and gliding, Negro. So dare not alienate because you cannot assimilate. So mm -mm. you know you gonna be a Negro till you die. Okay, mm -mm -mm. Uh, Book of Negroes, chapter one, verse thirty-two. <sighs> You do not, under any circumstances, refer to yourself or your people as Nick, whether it's E-R or G-A, in front of any bigots or prejudiced people. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to use the N-word anymore. It's jumped the shark for me. It's a constant struggle for me. I've tried to stop using it over the years. But after watching this video and watching, you know, Don King say that and watching Donald Trump and the other two white people behind him die laughing and smirking at Don King when he said it, it really made me say I have to stop using the N-word at least in public. Okay, if you are like me and it's hard for you to stop using it, at least get let, let's get back to using the N-word in hushed tones only amongst us. But back to Don King. First of all, if you don't know who Don King is, kids, he is what happens when a treasure troll gets old. <laughs> and what bothers me about this speech he gave is because this is how those same white men sitting behind him laughing and smirking at his speech. The way Don King sounded is how those same white men talk about us behind our back, except they use the N-word, okay? Oh, best believe LeBron James is that good basketball playing N-word. President Barack Obama is that half an N-word they can't believe got in the White House. Beyonce is that pretty dancing ass N-word. Jay-Z, Diddy, Cornell West, Michael Eric Dyson, Oprah, doesn't matter who our brightest and best in the eyes of some white people, especially the white people on that stage, we ain't nothing but niggers. And Don King in their eyes by saying that is justifying how they already feel. That's why they was laughing and smirking so hard because they could relate. They understood every word Don King was saying because they've said those same words verbatim thousands of times. What Don King told Michael Jackson wasn't wrong, but repeating that conversation in front of those bigots in that setting and this present time that we in was all wrong, okay? I was waiting for one of those white men behind Don King to scream out, preach! Push through, Don. Push through. I was always taught that you have to teach people how to treat you, okay? We can't ever get to the point where we make any racist or any bigot feel like it's okay to refer to us as the N-word in that context or any context for that matter. We're not going back in time, okay? We, we can't ever go back to when white people would talk about us like that to our face or refer to us in that manner. If you're a bigot and racist and you want to do that in private, cool. But don't let Don King fool you. It's not okay to refer to us in that manner. Don King does not speak for me or any black person I know. The only black Don I acknowledge is Bishop Don Juan and 
Brother Don Muhammad. Okay, Don King can kiss my black ass. Look, man, everybody with a voice, everybody with a platform, when you get the opportunity to get the ears of the people, when you are in those settings and you have an opportunity to teach to those who don't know, don't show, or don't give a damn about what's going on in the hood, you have to use those moments to teach and give them the real. Don't get in front of them and put on your dancing shoes and start shucking and jiving. We don't got time for that. Stop. In the words of the late great Pimp C, you embarrassing us. You embarrassing us. Don, you embarrassing us. Yourself and treasure trolls everywhere. Please give Don King the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The Breakfast Club.